everyone! I'm going to show you step by step how to convert any reply into a template that will serve you in many cases. You just need to pack it with fillable fields. Often, when I receive emails with similar requests, it takes a lot of time to find previous replies, copy and change them. Have you faced it? Well, I can make things easier by creating a template to use whenever I need it. I'm just selecting the text I'm going to reuse and click the new template button on the add-in pane. Now I have a starting point. These are the parts I want to turn into variables. So, I'm going to replace them with the fillable fields by using macros. Let's start with the name of a person I want to send an email to. I'm selecting the Insert Macro button and double-clicking Insert Recipient First Name. The autofillable field is here in your template now. I get discounts request each season and I'll need a drop down with the season names to choose from. I'm selecting the insert macro button and double clicking what to enter. Here I'm choosing drop down list. I'm giving a unique name to the fillable field I'm creating. It will prompt me and my colleagues I'm going to share this template with to choose the right season. Now I'm creating a list itself. I don't think we'll need these options, so I'll keep these checkboxes empty and click OK. The fillable field that will be replaced with the season name is in my template now. For holiday discount details I have a data set. I'm selecting the insert macro button and double clicking what to enter. I'm choosing data set. Again, I'm naming the fillable field I'm creating and selecting the necessary data set. Let me show you it, just to see what it looks like. I'm selecting the necessary column from where a discount will be retrieved. It's here. I'm clicking OK. The fillable field that will be replaced with the right discount is in the template. I want to have a deadline for my holiday offer. Let's start with time. I'm selecting the Insert Macro button and double-clicking what to enter. Here I'm choosing time. I'm naming the fillable field I'm creating and specifying the format and locale. Then I'm clicking OK. My template now contains a time picker. A holiday offer is valid till a specific date, so I want a date picker for my template. I'm selecting the Insert Macro button and double-clicking what to enter. I'm choosing date. Here I'm giving name for a fillable field and specifying the format and locale. Then I'm clicking OK. There is a date picker in my template. To be able to enter any information I want to, I'm going to create a text entry field. I'm selecting the Insert Macro button and double-clicking what to enter. Then I'm choosing Text field. Again, a unique name for my fillable field. And I need to click OK. My template has the fillable field that will be replaced with the right title. And finally, the ending phrase. I want to wish my addressee happy holidays specifying the season. It looks like I need a drop down here. But wait! I already have it! I'm selecting the Insert Macro button and double clicking what to enter. And now I'm choosing to copy from another what to enter. As you can see, the dialog is filled automatically, so I just need to click OK. The same fillable field is repeated twice in the template. The last step is to save my template. Now it's time to join the result. I'm inserting the template I've just created, and a dialog shows up. As you can see, I have all the prompts there, and I just need to select and enter some data. And click OK. I have all the fillable fields replaced with the data. The reply is ready and will be sent right now. Thank you for being with us and watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates!